try to start off this video by summarizing it so you guys don't click away or leave some mean hate comments right away. First off, I want to say that Miss Pandaria is my favorite expansion because of classes. Now, I'm going to say this a lot through the video, but I'll just summarize it at the beginning uh, so you guys don't have to watch the full video if you don't want to. Each individual class in MOP was the best it has ever been, in my opinion. You had the most abilities of any expansion. I think Druids had almost 50 abilities, 5-0 abilities, and then in WAD they had about 20. But the difference is that you could tell right away the good players from the bad players by what buttons they pressed. It mattered so much uh, which global you used uh, in a combat situation, whether it was PvE or PvP. You could tell right away you know, who was good and who was bad, which had a, a much higher skill cap than it does now. Also, the reason why I like MOP is because I think it was still an MMO back then. There was still some sort of challenge. You needed enchants. Uh, you needed to do a lot of stuff to get and earn gear. And it really felt like you earned your gear once you got it. Nowadays, you just go queue up a BG and you'll get an instant 8 or a 900 piece of gear. And it doesn't really feel like you work towards anything. It's too easy now. In MOP, it was a lot harder to get gear. And it felt like you're actually working towards something when you queued up for a battleground or an arena. Or you went into some sort of raid. You actually had to try... That was pretty much all I wanted to summarize. The biggest point is that the classes in MOP, if you take away all the pandas, all the stupid crap you hate about MOP, and just look at the core gameplay, aka the classes, uh, and some of the raids, and how PvP felt, you'll really see um, how truly great MOP actually was. Now, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't the best expansion in a lot of people's eyes. People think it was good. People either hate it. Um, but a lot of people didn't really like it, but I, it's still my favorite expansion just because of the fact that classes felt so smooth and they had so many abilities and it was just so much fun to play each class and it was even more fun to pick up a new class. Nowadays in Legion, each class is just a damage dealer. You have rogues, wow, they do stuns. You have warriors, wow, they do damage. It's like there's no real difference between classes and that's the thing that uh, I really liked about MOP is that there was still uh, a huge difference between classes for instance you would bring a druid for hibernate or you would bring a priest for power word fortitude or whatever it was classes still had their class needs and that was removed in wad that was removed in legion uh, and i think it will still remain in battle for azeroth where there's every class just either does damage or heal there's no real differences between classes yo what is going on everybody executives here coming at you to why Mist of Pandaria was my personal favorite expansion. Now, before you click off this video, just hear me out. I'm going to start off with the thing that made Mist of Pandaria my favorite, which are actually two things. One is the Timeless Isle, and two are classes. Now, the reason why I like Mist of Pandaria so much is because of the classes. Almost any class that I could possibly think of in the game had the most its abilities it's ever had in WoW, and it was just extremely fun to play. Now, I mained a, a Boomkin for the start of Mr. Pandaria, and a little bit after about 5.1 or about 5.2, I rolled a Warrior. And I can't even tell you, I can't even, I can't even begin to tell you how much fun playing a Warrior in Mr. Pandaria was. Now, the first thing I want to cover is that there are so many abilities in Missa Pandaria. That's why I like the expansion so much. Druid had, I think, 40-something abilities uh, in MOP, as opposed to in WAD, I think it had 20-something. So there was a lot of pruning that happened in WAD. And the reason why I liked MOP so much is that because um, if, when you have so many abilities, it really shows who the good players are and who the bad players are. Uh, by what buttons they press this it comes down there's a lot higher skill cap when there's more buttons to press for instance um, when druids lost the spell hibernate uh, in wad you didn't really ever hibernate a druid uh, in bear form or like uh, somebody's pet or something but yeah so i'll try and i'll try and um explain that as much as i can but first i just want to cover the warrior abilities now if you compare the abilities i have now to what we have in legion and then to what we're going to have in battle for azeroth you're going to be astonished at how many more abilities i have now um so yeah we have everything from avatar cleave c smash um we have parry we also have berserker stance back then which um was very similar to battle stance but you just I don't really know the difference actually it doesn't really say 
um, but you could only cast C Smash in uh, Berserker Stance. So yeah, we also had Disarm back then. I'm pretty sure almost every melee class had Disarm. Monks, Rogues, uh, all those classes had Disarm. We also had a ranged kick, uh, Execute, Heroic, Leap, all that stuff. We had Fear, we had Overpower, we had Rallying Cry, which is the equivalent of Commanding Shout now. You had Recklessness, which was a 3-minute cooldown. Uh, and then you also had your Avatar, which was a 1.5-minute cooldown. You had Safeguard or Intervene. You had Shattering Throw. You had Shield Wall. Uh, you had some sort of Stun. You had Slam, Spell Reflect. You had even had Sunder Armor back then. Sweeping Strikes, um, Thunderclap, a few abilities like that. And then my favorite thing that Warriors have ever had, which are War Banners. Now, these banners allowed you to place down and then you could intervene your own banner and it would be really cool whirlwind and then a bunch of passives that you would read up on sudden death you also had taste for blood uh some really cool stuff like that but the point i'm trying to get across is that every single class i'll log over to um some of my other classes like a rogue or a monk or something every single class just had the most abilities they've ever had and while some people may see this as a as a disappointment or you know a bad feature i see it as a good feature i think there should be a lot of abilities in the game because it really uh it really makes each global uh you know impactful if you're gonna run in there and you only have four buttons to press it doesn't really matter what gl global you press because all four of them are either going to do damage or they're defensive of some kind um so yeah you know, it was, it was the same for rogues, too. You had so many more abilities back in the day that allowed the good rogues to be told easily from the bad rogues. Um, yeah, that's just the point I want to try and get across. Now, a lot of people hated Mop because of the pandas. And I agree with you 100%. Pandas kind of ruined the game. It didn't really... No one really plays them, so it doesn't really matter. But the idea behind, uh, you know, Pandari and stuff, a lot of people just didn't like... Um, and how I could definitely see that. But, you know, if you take away all of your hate for Mop, a lot of people hate Missa Pandaria, just like they hate Kata, just like they hate Wad. But if you take away your hate for Missa Pandaria and you just look at it as an expansion gameplay-wise, it was the best expansion, in my opinion. I think it was better than Wad. I think it was better than Legion. Um, it may not be better than Vanilla, but I was never... I was way too young to play vanilla when it was current, and technically vanilla isn't an, 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 an it isn't an expansion. Um, so that's why I say Mop is the best expansion of WoW of all time. Now TBC were, was very good, um, and also Wrath of Lich King was very good, but I still think that Mop's Mop is hands down the best. You had so many unique things to Mop that were either removed in Wad or added from Kata, um, and so yeah, if you guys never played Mop. There is this mob private server that I very rarely play on called Panda Wow. I'm not promoting it or anything, but uh, it is cool just to check it out. It's an instant 90 server. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hop over some of these other classes. So I'm showing some of the abilities that rogues have. Uh, they have Disarm Trap. They have Disarm Evasion. They have an AoE Bleed. They have Cloak Combat Readiness, which is one of their defensives. Um and a bunch of stuff like this. Now I'm looking at MOP as a positive from both the PvP side and the PvE side. Now I personally rated very, I think I rated like normal, um, some of the raids um, like Terrace of the Endless Spring and like Throne of Thunder, I rated the normal. I was never, I was still pretty new to the game when MOP came out. Um, so I never really got to raid that much, but even the raids are were still pretty memorable for me. They had uh, very... They had pretty good and unique mechanics to raids that, you know, some of that stuff isn't offered anymore. Like, I know that Warlords of Draenor raids were actually pretty good, and they had some pretty cool-looking sets. But uh, mop raids I also thought were very good. I still go back to them um, sometimes just to look uh, and see how pretty they are or to see their sets or just to see the overall design of the raids. All right, I'm kind of joining on here. Let me switch over to a more popular class. There's Hunter, Warlock... Um, hmm. I'll hop on. I'll hop on priest just because priest is pretty popular. Now, uh, another thing that I liked about mop was uh, PvP. Now, PvP was kind of broken in mop, as warriors and a few other classes like that were just retardedly overpowered, 
and you kind of had, depending on what comp you'd face, like a Hunter Warrior Pally or something, uh, you would just have no chance. You would stand no chance if you were, um, you know, like a Mage Rogue or whatever it was. I'm, I'm giving bad examples, but the point I'm trying to make is that if you were good at your class and you had other people that were good at your class or good with that class, you could you could pretty much beat any comp. It, it really came down to the player, in my opinion. It came down to a lot of the player um, being good as opposed to just the comp being good or the class being good. Like, priests were broken. A lot of other classes were broken. Uh, mage was really good. Um, a bunch of stuff like that was really, really good. But it really came down to if you knew how to play your class. If you're a rogue or if you're a warrior or if you were a hunter or a feral druid, something along those lines, you would just completely destroy everybody who is bad even if they were carried by class uh, and that's something that is not uh, apparent anymore so in, in wow now if you play uh, a, a warlock you are the best class in the game warlock or shaman if you play in legion you're easily hands down the best class in the game in pvp you really could go any spec you can go elemental you can go resto you can even go enhance and you'll be top um you know, top three. Uh, same thing for Warlock. Affliction, Demo, and Destro are all three viable specs that are just overtuned and are so broken um, in this game right now. And it's insane that it's still like that. But the point I'm trying to make is that if you were good at your class, it doesn't matter if if the class sucked or not. You still had a lot of capability because uh, damage was very reliant on gear, as well as the player knowing when to pop his defensive and offensive cooldowns. So that's the point I'm trying to make, is that MOP was great because of a few number of reasons. One, it had the most abilities that it has WoW has ever had for for each class. It had the most abilities. Two, um, class balance wasn't really an issue, even though it was for like warriors and stuff. Um, but if you still play, if you still knew how to play your class, you could be better than a lot of people. Uh, and three, I just really liked the overall feel of MOP. It wasn't very clunky. This is when they started introducing a lot of new things uh, before they would take it away. I know I repeated myself a lot, but I think you guys get the gist of the video. Please let me know what you guys' favorite expansion was and whether you agree or disagree with me in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.